All right, so we have the host um, letting the assistant know when a correct letter was guessed and when an incorrect letter was guessed. So now let's get the assistant to say uh, what we want him to say. We want him to just say the letters uh, that have been guessed and then blanks for all the other letters. So to do that, I'm going to make a custom block called um, display or let's see. Get word progress. Get word progress. All right, sure. Um, and let's make it for this sprite only. We only want the assistant to be able to um, display um, this word. So I'll make it a looks block. <clears throat> it's a reporter. Um, all right, so in this block, what we want to do is, let's see, let's make a comment. We need to construct, construct a word that replaces each letter of our secret word that has not been guessed by the user with an underscore, which looks like that. Okay. Uh, if the letter of the word has been guessed then we should fill it in. Okay. So what do we need? Um, we need our secret word in here. Uh, but we need our secret word list because we want to be iterating through each letter of the word. So I'm going to use the secret word list instead of just the secret word. Um, we need the guest letters list. We need that. Um, and eventually we need to report back this constructed word. So we need a script variable. And I'll just call it constructed word. That's what I've been using. And we're going to report that back at the very end. Okay, um, so now what we need to do is iterate through our word, and our word is throbs, and so we want to start with the T. All right, so has, has the user guessed T? And in this case, I have. I've guessed the letters A and T. So I would uh, put T into my constructed word. Then I move on to the next letter, H. Uh, has the user uh, guessed H? No, so instead of putting in an H, I would put in an underscore. So at this point, the word would be T underscore. Uh, same for R, no, haven't guessed it, so T underscore underscore. Then O, haven't guessed it, so T underscore underscore underscore, and then the rest of them are actually the underscores at this point. Um, so we're going through each item of that, or each letter of that word at a time. So we're going to need a repeat block. And actually I'm going to import tools. Because there is a handy block down here. For i equals 1 to 10. So this is just going to uh, help me iterate through with a counter, basically. Um, so for i equals 1, yes, we want to start with the first letter, and then we want to go to the length of our secret word list. So length of secret word list. OK, so this should be t. H R O B 
s of 6, so this should go from 1 to 6, and that is represented by the variable i inside of this for loop. Um, so we want to actually, yeah, that's fine. So what we want to do is join, join, and we want to set ours, not our secret word, we want to set our constructed word Okay, um, so we're going to want to set our constructed word to the addition of the constructed word and the next letter or underscore, depending on whether or not the user has guessed that letter. Okay, so we're going to need an if else. A comment. I want to attach it right there. So if the user has guessed this letter, then add that letter to our constructed word. Okay, so when we're talking about words or uh, strings, uh, letters and things, adding two words together just smashes them together. It's not like with numbers 5 plus 4 equals 9. Um, that's not how it works. So it would be, you know, apple plus banana would equal apple banana, right? Uh, T plus H would equal TH. Um, so we're going to be adding these letters together or the underscores, depending on whether or not the user has guessed that letter. So if they have guessed it, then we want to add the letter. If they haven't, we're going to want to add the underscore. Um, so we're going to set our constructed word to the addition or join of our constructed constructed word and the letter that we're looking at, which would be the ith letter of our secret word list. So if i equals 1, then we want to take the first item of our secret word list. So to do that, we go to the variables tab, and there is item, and we want to use i here. So the item I of our secret word list. Okay, and so then we would get out of this and go to the next uh, letter. So we would start at one, which would be T, and since I've guessed T, it would add T to our constructed word. We're gonna come back through with H, the second letter. Um, and since that's not there, we would we would miss this and we would go down here and we would want to join instead of the letter, we'd want to join an underscore. And I'm putting a space on either side of that so that it doesn't look like one long line. So space underscore space. Um, all right, and so what we need is the logic here of does should we add the letter or should we add the underscore? And again, that check is, has the user guessed it or not? So we want to know if, um, if our guessed letters contains the ith letter of secret word list. So I'm just going to duplicate this, put that there. All right, so we're going to do this however many times it takes to get through the word. And then when we're done, We'll just say whatever that, we'll report whatever that uh, constructed word is. Okay. And so instead of saying secret word, when a letter is guessed, a correct letter is guessed, we're going to use our get 
upward progress. Okay, so let's try that. Um, so pick a letter, and again, this only works when I pick the correct letter. So I need to pick one more correct letter. So let's do the letter O. All right, something bad happened. T. Let's. I don't know where the zero is coming from. So let's go back over to the assistant. Edit. Oh. All right. There's a zero because variables default to zero, and we're not setting it as anything else. So we need to set at the beginning of all this constructed word to nothing. Uh, but I'm also wondering why this isn't happening. Um, let's replace this with a star and see if that shows up. All right, let's pick another one. Uh, it's got to be a, it's got to be right. It's supposed to be B. Okay. So for some reason the underscores aren't showing up, but uh, so there we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six letters, which is correct. And of those six, we've guessed the T, the O, and the B. All right. So if we guess something wrong, uh, like uh, Y, aha. Uh -huh. So we don't want to do that. We want to probably just not say anything. We don't want to change what he is saying. Instead, we want to tell the hangman to draw another another part of the hangman. So we want to broadcast. Um, we'll broadcast draw next part. And we'll deal with that later. So let's go back to the host. We'll pick a correct letter this time. Um, R. Okay. Uh, and then we'll pick a wrong letter just to verify that we won't overwrite what we've already put in there. So we'll do U. And we've added all of these to our list here. Cool. All right. So we'll work on. Um, this later. This doesn't really look good to me, so we'll try to see if we can get the uh, underscores later, but uh, right now we've got the logic working, so it's pretty good.